Well, thank you very much, Wade. If the uh, Halifax Public Libraries have a stronger and more ardent cheerleader than Wade, I don't know what it is. Uh, I try, uh, but he is truly the champion. Uh, Matt Whitman is on the library board, and also a great champion. Minister McKay, it's always a pleasure. Uh, Minister Fury, Minister Pursuas, MLA uh, Joachim Stroink, our Deputy Mayor Darren Fisher, um, Councillor Mason, Councillor Whitman, and others. Wonderful to be here. I'm very proud to be here. Just be crazy over it. Let me see uh, that group. Those of we, this is a wonderful occasion. Many of you have heard me talk before about libraries and how passionate I feel about them. Growing up in a large family uh, where books were adored and libraries were honored, uh, I spent much time in the old Dartmouth Library and I told the story about how when I was one of seven children growing up and my father being a doctor, he would grab three or four of us, stick us in the back of the old Grand Torino station wagon without the seatbelts in those days, drop us off in the Dartmouth Library, which at one point in time was the library at the top of the museum in the bottom. And he'd go across the harbor and deliver a baby and use the library as a babysitter service. Uh, libraries have changed. As Minister McKay said, uh, libraries have changed. But you know, even in those days, the librarians of the Dartmouth Regional Library System, they gave you a little bit of, they gave you some latitude as kids to have some fun and recognize that learning is supposed to be fun. And what's more fun than being here today within walking distance of historic parts of Halifax, like our harbor, like our public gardens, but also to see the modern uh, construction of the Nova Center and other buildings that are going up on wonderful Spring Garden Road. It's wonderful to be here, and it's remarkable, and it's such a pleasure to see the inside of this remarkable new building. We know that private investment follows public investment. So I want to thank the federal and provincial governments for this show of confidence in our library system and in Halifax's downtown. As has been mentioned, this library has been cited by Architecture Magazine as Europe and CNN as a building to watch in the coming year. One of the 10 most exciting buildings in the world to watch. And I'm told that Landry Pesumas' new house is also on that list. <laughs> now, when you think about all the things that are being built in the world, that's pretty remarkable. Because well-designed public spaces really matter. They inspire and they attract people. And cities are all about people. And they make a statement about community values. Architects from Schmidt Hammer Lassen and Fowler Bald and Mitchell have given us a remarkable building. So too have all of the people who came out to tell their story about what they want in a new library. And together, architects and citizens have built a central library that is a powerful statement about our community's aspirations and our values and a welcoming vision to our library system. It's not simply something that's nice to have, it is important and critical to the future of our city. Because more than ever, for a city to succeed, we need to be invested in the knowledge economy. We need to ensure that our citizens have access to all forms of learning, including, as Minister McKay mentioned, the Discovery Center. That's what libraries do. They, dem they democratize learning, but they broaden public access to new tools of learning. This library will be a place for young families, for teenagers, for seniors. And in terms of democracy, the engagement of the community in the design of this building is one of the most remarkable and unparalleled processes of consultation in the history of this city. This will also play a big role with immigrants, with the Canadians, just as our existing library system does now. Go to the Kesh and Goodman Library and see who's in there, who's using those books of those resources. This will help people to increasingly, that we increasingly count on to build our population and they will drive the very future of this historic province. This library sits, as does the city, at a literal and figurative crossroads for this downtown. Its interior gathering spaces and its exterior public plazas will be a draw for spring garden room in this entire area. What a time. Lost power. I wanted to say about Spring Garden Road. Spring Garden Road is one of the preeminent shopping destinations in Atlantic Canada. And this is going to help the wonderful merchants, many of whom have already invested their own money in Spring Garden Road. And we're going to be a partner in making sure that Spring Garden Road is everything that it can possibly be. This building will serve as a cultural crossroads for our community, a place where you can reach your neighbor but also meet new people and share ideas. So this library is well on its way to completion, but I also want to just let people know it's not finished, so you can tell. But the library is going to need the support of Halifax and the people of Halifax to 
health insurer that's as amazing on the inside as it is on the outside. So the capital campaign continues. And I want to say a quick word. This building is about community to me more than anything else. Building a community where all kinds of people come from all different backgrounds, people who look different, people of different ages, people of different incomes will come here. It's about building community. And this community hasn't had many people who've done more to build community than Paul O'Regan. And Paul O'Regan's family given a million dollars to this library to honor Paul is one of the most uh, selfless acts that I can think of. And it's a remarkable testament to Paul, who in a couple of months will be uh, conducted along with his brother Stephen into the Nova Scotia Business Hall of Fame. Yeah. I want everybody in the city to come out and see this when they can, when it's open, when they're allowed to come in without these beautiful boots and hats. But I also want them to think about what they can do to absolutely maximize this wonderful building for all the citizens of Halifax. It's an exciting day. Thank you, ministers. Thank you, staff. Thank you, architects. Thank you, everybody who's been part of this wonderful success. Thank you very much. Uh, the new library certainly is a, a real symbol of our city's future. Uh, but as you say, the work will go on when the community fundraising campaign is launched shortly. But I think we all agree that the Halifax Library is already remarkable. At this time, I'll ask the ministers, the mayor, and the library's interim CEO, Paul Sonier, 